Tucker, how's your ear? It's fine. God, my butt is tough. Go ahead, you can cry if it hurts. I promise I'll try not to laugh. What? What do you mean, try not to laugh? You should be feeling some serious sympathy for me right now. But wouldn't feeling sorry for you be a violation of your dignity? Besides, it's harder not to laugh when I'm not the one in pain. <laughs> Paimon, don't laugh! <laughs> it's okay, everybody. If you want to laugh at him, just let it out. Don't you have a heart, Shinobu? Oh, and people think I'm the monster. Wait a second. Shao's not here, but... Seems a little out of place here, don't you think? Maybe it's some sort of... I don't know, an emergency shelter? There was a picture book I read once that said nice people sometimes build cabins in dangerous places so that anyone in trouble can take shelter inside. Our little dude must be inside then. Yeah! I wouldn't be too sure about that. Any person with a normal sense of danger wouldn't be so optimistic. Wow, Bullchucker! Looks like your subordinate is telling you what's what. Oh, I believe she was talking to both of us, yeah. So you can wipe that smug smile off your face. All right, watch and learn, Shinobu. This is why I'm the boss and you're the deputy. If no one is macho enough to open the door, then allow me. Step aside. Once this door is open, we are out of here. Eveloni, be gone! You heard me! Get out of here! Uh, am I seeing things? Or was there someone behind the door? Nah, can't be. <laughs> You're just saying things. Why don't we just open the door again and see? Who? Uh, me? Oh, uh, <laughs> alright, uh, I'll open it again. All you do is goof around all day. You're a bad influence to our child. Be gone! <laughs> Those people are carrying bowls. Bowls full of beans. What's that all about? People throw beans to drive out Oni. Boss is an Oni, so they throw beans at him to get rid of him. Gave me the fright of my life! What are people from Inazuma doing in a place like this anyway? <laughs> Calm down now. You're a person from Inazuma too, you know. Hey, let's get one thing straight, all right? I'm not a person, I'm an Oni! Right, but that's not the point. The question is, does this door lead to Inazuma? Huh? How could that be possible? Ugh, oh, this place is so weird! Paimon's starting to think it really is haunted! You guys go right ahead. I'm not opening it again. So, who's up? Oh, how about Paimon? Why don't you open it? No way! Somebody else do it! Paimon's scared! <sighs> All right, I'll try. That's our Shinobu! Now, don't let whoever's behind that door push you around, okay? All right, let's see what's behind the door this time. Still reading, Shinobu. Listen, young lady. You should keep your nose out of those books and start taking my advice. I've already found you a perfectly good job as a shrine maiden at the Grand Narukami Shrine. You'll be far better off there than... <laughs> uh, Shinobu? Who is that? No way! Was that who I think it was? 
Well, this is embarrassing. That voice was my mother. This is one place I wasn't counting on having to hear that speech again. Your mother wanted you to become a Shrine Maiden? The whole reason I came to study in Liyue was because I didn't want to become a Shrine Maiden. My family never approved of my studies, so they wanted me to work in the Grand Narukami Shrine after I returned to Inazuma. From what we know about Lady Guji, it seems being a Shrine Maiden is a pretty cushy job. <sighs> Think of it this way. Some cats can be domesticated and kept in the house, while other cats are meant to survive in the wild. As for me, I need complete freedom and space. Although I do admit that being a Shrine Maiden is a decent job, it's just not for me. That's right, your calling is with the gang. I mean, just look at you! You rock! You're totally hardcore! Come on, am I the only one with chills right now? It's true. You've got a good thing going. What's most important is that you enjoy what you do. Gotta agree with you there. From the look of it, what's behind the door can change. And not only that, it always changes to something that nobody wants to see. So, uh, how are we gonna get through that? And don't forget, we have that little dude waiting for us to save him. We need to get our rear in gear. Would any of you like to give it a try? Mm, no thanks. I'd prefer not to open it if only something terrible awaits. If anyone's going to find a way through, it's not going to be me. Uh, why? Because I don't buy it, that's why. I don't believe for one second that we're gonna find the Conqueror of Demons by going through that door. So I'm sure as heck not gonna be the one to get us through. Not gonna lie, uh, you don't really sound like you have much of an imagination. All right, I'll try. Yeah, my savior. Show him what you're made of. I'm sure I probably do, but nothing springs to mind right now. Anyway, I suppose I'll find out once I open the door. You old geezer. Out of eight pounds of salt, today you gave away three for free, sold two, and exchanged three for booze. How much money did you actually make in the end? Huh? But didn't you tell me to sell things as I pleased? Why can't I give the customers something for free? You fool! You told the old man next door to come and fetch the salt. Well, he broke his leg on the way over, and now his son is asking for compensation. Seriously. <sighs> Huh. A civil dispute. Didn't see that coming. Who are they? <sighs> no one in particular, but it is a prime example of the many difficult civil cases that I've had trouble handling before. Hmm. So you mean you don't like handling disputes over petty matters? Not exactly. What I mean is that I don't like working with people who cannot let go of trivial grievances, especially of the kind you saw just now. They start with good intentions, but end up making a big fuss. It's not long before those good intentions plunge into injury and accidents. <sighs> it's always a shame. It's my desire to solve problems for people. That's why I became a legal advisor. It just seems that I still can't fully comprehend the complicated minds of some people. <sighs> I understand what you mean. The human mind is probably both the most complicated and tragic of things. I suppose there is no need to discuss this any further. Does anyone else want to try the door? Don't look at me. I told you, I'm not taking a chance with that thing. Come on, Yelon. We're a team here. If you're not gonna try, then at least give us a convincing reason why. <sighs> In that case, let me be perfectly clear. I serve Ningguang, the Tianxuan of the Qixing. The scope of my work includes some of Liyue's biggest secrets. The chances are, if I open this door, there can be no witnesses left alive. Is that a sufficient reason for you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sounds, sounds impressive. Um, hey, Shinobu, uh, who's Ningguang? She's someone who won't let you walk out of the chasm alive if she finds out that you're prying into her secrets. Boss, you really do need to work on learning who's who in the world these days. Look, I knows what I needs to knows. It's called being a free Oni. Oh, now Paimon gets it. Yalem works for Ningguang. <laughs> yes, which is precisely why I was trying to keep her secret. <laughs> we should avoid letting Yalon open this door. 
What about you, Traveler? Would you like to try? Yeah, go for it, Traveler. Besides, you never know who could be behind that door. Maybe it could even be Shell. I say give it a shot. Who knows? Maybe little dude is waiting for us on the other side. Find anything, Traveler? So, did you find the person we want to rescue inside? Judging by the look on your face, I'm guessing you saw something a little... unpleasant in there? you to pieces! If Paima wasn't feeling so exhausted, she'd help out too. Hey, what is this? Nap time? <sighs> so let me get this straight. Not only did we not find Xiao through that door, we saw all the things that we wish to avoid. I'm starting to have a very ominous feeling about this domain. It's constantly changing, and its changes seem to be targeted at us. Huh? What do you mean? I feel the same way. We need to watch our every step. There is definitely more to this place than meets the eye. I concur. We came here following the Conqueror of Demons, but we ended up only finding a strange door. The things we've encountered on the other side of that door are equally strange. It shows us whatever we fear the most. We're in a space that defies common logic. <sighs> on top of that, I'm starting to feel tired after that experience. But I thought we'd established that getting tired doesn't happen down here. The phenomenon hasn't reached a lethal stage just yet. Otherwise, we would have starved to death without eating for so long. I'm starting to worry that we're being affected by the changes in this space. In order to avoid the sudden accumulation of hunger and fatigue, we should eat and rest regularly from now on. <sighs> Paimon suddenly feels exhausted. It's really tiring going through all this. Now that you mention it, I'm starting to feel tired too. <laughs> no, 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 it's all just an illusion. I will not let my mind play tricks on me. <sighs> Paimon's whole body just feels so heavy now. Hmm. According to the current evidence, it seems our physical condition was suspended in this space before, which granted us immunity to the effects of fatigue and hunger. And now it seems that mental fatigue is unavoidable. Though we have yet to locate the Conqueror of Demons, I suggest we go back and get some rest. It'll be difficult to rescue anyone if we're on the verge of collapse ourselves. 
She's right. Hey, Lavender Melon. You okay? Want me to carry you? You haven't slept at all. Are you sure you're okay? This place seems even more perilous than we first thought. Don't worry about me. Staying focused under pressure for as long as it takes is my specialty. Now, if I'm not mistaken, looks like you've got some new ideas. <laughs> How could you tell? It's my job to keep tabs on people. I figured as much. They're just preliminary ideas at this point. But I haven't completely thought them through yet. I'll tell you more once my ideas have taken shape. Sure. Sounds good. I also have some ideas of my own. I'll fill you in after I've confirmed some things. <laughs> you think so? As they say, two heads are always better than one. hard to believe what we've encountered. Well, I suppose there's no use hiding it anymore now that everyone's seen it. What you all saw really was my biggest fear. I never want to become a Shrine Maiden. Who could tolerate such a boring life? After these last few years with the Arataki Gang, I suppose you could say I've seen it all. It's taken every skill in my arsenal to constantly clean up the messes they make. Though the list of annoying things to deal with is practically endless, I am totally free in the Arataki Gang. Strolling around the streets, roasting lavender melons with friends in the open country... I know it sounds pretty silly, but that's the life that I want. Just don't laugh at me, okay? Otherwise, you might find yourself on the receiving end of a good beating. Ushi, you sure you can't find a way back to that door again? Mm. Ah, perfect timing. I was just having a chat with Ushi about that. You know what? I can handle those mean people behind the door throwing beans at me, but causing trouble for you? Nah, -uh. that ain't gonna fly with this guy. Mm. What? There's nothing we can do? Listen here, Beefcake. You shouldn't give up so easily. Can't you have one last look for it? If you really can't find it, we'll just have to find another door. With any luck, one that connects to the outside world. Hmm? You feel me? By the way, Traveler, if you have a moment, could you do me a favor? I'd like to discuss something with you. Please, come meet me over there. Thanks for coming to speak with me, Traveler. I've been thinking about this place. Since we still don't know just what kind of danger we're up against, we can't afford to delay any longer. We have to find the Conqueror of Demons as soon as possible. Don't you think it's a strange coincidence that as soon as you told us about the Conqueror of Demons, we heard his voice in that place? It almost seems deliberate. As if something was trying to convince us that the Conqueror of Demons was there in order to lure us into the unknown. I have a theory, but I can't tell the others just yet. I don't want anyone to panic. Judging from the Conqueror of Demons' reactions, I think that he was somewhere else. But his voice and image were projected to our location. Is it possible that we've entered into a chaotic space? We're seeing things in people that shouldn't be here, even ghosts. And we don't feel hungry because the state of our bodies is suspended. It's as if time itself has stopped for us. If that's true, it means we've entered into a place where normal logic doesn't apply. When you put it all together, everything points towards one possibility. 
This is a place where time and space are thrown into chaos. And yet, if it's truly chaotic, how did we find our friend's voice even when we had no idea where he was? It doesn't make any sense. Unless the space wanted us to hear it. Which brings me to my next point. I also have a theory about our encounter with the Conqueror of Demons earlier. I submit that we didn't actually see the Conqueror of Demons. He was somewhere else. But his status was transmitted to us through a, some kind of mind-bending spatial alteration. Traveler, you said you saw the Abyss in that room, didn't you? At first glance, that door may seem like a prank. It shows you whatever you're afraid of, but if it manages to lure you inside, there's no way of knowing what might be in there. One minute, it's playing a joke to get you to lower your guard. The next, the danger is real, and it's trapped you. This space is a powerful opponent. It wants to use our minds against us. But I'm not gonna sit here and do nothing. Do you remember that small spatial rift next to the dissolving ground? It felt like spatial magic, but it seemed much more powerful than usual. When we saw that illusion of the Conqueror of Demons, it seemed like he wasn't expecting our spaces to intersect at all, and was even more surprised that we could hear and see him. I think that this space purposefully transmitted the Conqueror of Demons' voice to lure us into a trap. But I also think it didn't count on that spatial rift happening. In other words, the fact that we saw and spoke with the Conqueror of Demons was never part of its plan. Yes. Also, I had a good look around after coming back. I have a feeling that these chaotic spaces are constantly intersecting with each other, meaning that anything is possible. I think this gives us an opportunity. If the space creates phenomena meant to deceive us based on our imaginations, then we have to keep imagining, Traveler. If we try to stay calm and listen carefully, maybe, just maybe, we'll hear the Conqueror of Demons' voice again. <laughs> Can you feel that? Let me see. I think it's here. And... break! <sighs> I secretly learned Yelan's illusion-breaking method without her knowing. <laughs> really didn't expect that to work. The sound came from behind this illusion. Let's go in and take a look. It's getting clearer. And now, this is the chasm. What did British go through here? If both just in that battle fought years ago, what is he doing here? The one I had. Is that the plan? Aksha. Voice is much clearer now. We're close. Conqueror of Demons, can you hear me? It's Yenfei. The Traveler and I are trying to find you. Uh, traveler? Uh, Yenfei? It worked. Are you okay? I'm fine. Listen to me. It's chaotic here. We may not be in the same space, but sometimes the sound can get through, which means these separate spaces intersect from time to time. Everything is chaotic here. No. The darkness that sullies my soul is harmful to mortals. Right now, we have more dangerous things to worry about than that. This space is using our urge to find you to lure us into traps. Without you here with us, our search for you could very well lead us into danger. <sighs> 
So, you're in danger too? <sighs> there was no need for you to search for me. But we're worried about you. And earlier, the Traveler was tricked into entering a dangerous place. <sighs> How do we meet? Conqueror of Demons, can you find out where our voices are coming from? Find the spot where our voices are the clearest and try... something there. It might work. I see. The spaces may intersect amidst the chaos. By try something, do you mean... Hurry! If we miss this chance, we might not get another one. Hmm. Stand back! <laughs> Back to the camp. <sighs> now we can avoid getting split up. Lots happened here, but this wasn't just for our own safety. You're injured. We can't just leave you alone. It's just a flesh wound. I am fine. I shouldn't let myself be a burden to you. You're not a burden. Don't think that for one second. We need you, all of us. For our sake, please, stay here, please. Fine. As you wish. You're injured. Get some rest. Everything else can wait. <sighs> All right. <sighs> <sighs> 